special report from St. Matthias HQ. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean is Midway Atoll, once a beautiful island with many animal inhabitants. However, heartbreakingly, birds, especially albatrosses, are dying rapidly. Let's explain why. The reason for this is us. Even though humans haven't visited in decades, much evidence of environmental impact on the planet is being found there in the form of... Rubbish! 20% of the life-threatening trash is dumped into the ocean by boat, and the other 80% is blown into the seas from landfill sites. What happens is that these nasty, indescribable toxins get inside fish living there and give them bewildering diseases. If you think this is bad, think of the fact that we eat fish. Far out in the Pacific, there's an island which used to be a sanctuary for albatrosses and more animals that depend on the sea. But fortunately, these majestic dwellers of the sea and sky sadly mistake grotesque trash for squid, their main source of food. In areas around the North Atlantic, Tim Nunn, a 41-year-old surf photographer, has been documenting and looking further into the problem of plastic clogging up our seas and beaches. Over the last 10 years, our beloved beaches have been trashed and polluted by the plastic suffocating and destroying our beautiful beaches and islands. Tim has been searching remote places for evidence of this disgusting build-up. He has been capturing the beauty of these places while he can. He cares about the world, so why shouldn't we? Tim Nunn has also noticed a huge difference with the cleanliness of the ocean. He has been horrified by the evidence found in Loft in Norway. He has once a beautiful spot reduced to a rubbish pit. All in the last 15 years. Much admired, he describes how these poor animals are suffering and we're simply not doing enough. Hey dudes, when we refuse to recycle our recyclable objects, it leads to the animals eating these unnatural creations. Numerous alien objects have been found, such as polystyrene foam, toothbrushes, and many, many Coca-Cola bottle caps. I've encountered piles of rubbish waist high. Back to the St. Matthias HQ, we are now going to introduce you to our own solution to the plastic problem. The RoboDog 2.0 is the latest artificial ally in the war against plastic waste. Using his artificial intelligence, this cunning canine provides us with the most innovative protection yet from toxic trash. We beg those who are interested in being in a safe world, free from plastic, to listen to our solution to the problem our world is facing. Using sophisticated laser eye scanners and ear detectors, this handy helper is well equipped to detect whether something is ancient and natural or just a new rubbish. The products should help us rid ourselves quickly and efficiently from the problem we have created. This mechanical hound has the power to change our world. With a few of these in the world, the plastic problem will be no more. It has been cleverly engineered to consume bits of plastic and other rubbish. It has generated and bundled the materials into handy reusable panels. This is then exposed from its rear end. Our target market is people who care about the environment and young Norwegians who care about their environment in particular. Also, those who may like dogs are particularly drawn to the product. Our small group of cunning hardworking people are excitedly advanced. Having worked on many famous projects, our project designer, Noriana, well qualified for this task. Kenzie, our head of publicity, is also an excellent persuasive person. So let us move forward in a product that we can trust. RoboDog 2.0. Oh, do you not know? Thanks for watching. Bye!